experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, as soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. 
y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the door. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the ECAC Playoffs Week 2, a.k.a. the quarterfinals. I am Seb Delance, joined for the first time somehow by Catnator 3K. And we are going to be bringing you all what is hopefully a banger of a series. University of Delaware, our 14th seed, already defying expectations, making it to playoffs. But they are going up against Louisiana Tech, our 6th seed. Cat, how excited are you to go into this, man? Oh, excited. I'm so very excited, Seb Delance. I I'm really looking forward to this one. I think... We might see some upset potential, I'll be honest with you. Because, you know, the lower seeds means they play the higher seeds going in first. That's how a bracket seeded, just in case you don't know, Seth Lynch. You know, give give that basic little bit of info, right? Louisiana Tech, they take on the third seed last round, right? They 2-0 them, Seth Lynch. They, not only they 2-0 them, but they made it look they made it look easy. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Delaware made it look easy. So, to come through, we call them the 14th seed, but they're the first seed in my heart right here. So, I mean, <laughs> this is going to be a close matchup. Yeah, without a doubt, University of Delaware, a program, actually not their Valorant team, but the program as a whole, is a program that I've had the opportunity to see quite a few times. They've got an incredible on-site lab and a place for the players to play any game that they would like competitively, and I know that they are a very well-supported program, so I'd love to see Delaware really continue to defy these expectations, come through. Another 2-0 would go crazy. They would officially become the ECAC underdog story, securing a spot in semifinals at 14th seed would be, I mean, historically, practically unheard of. This would be a first at least for a while here in the ECAC and I know our first map of the day is going to be Haven I'm really excited to see that I don't know how well these players play any of these maps or how well they've really gotten to know these but moving into Haven you know cat straight away are there any team comps where you're thinking oh without a doubt we're seeing you know blank uh well I feel like Chamber KO is pretty common especially here in the A division I mean it's just these teams are running metas consistently they know what's up they know what's good uh the omens kind of converted past that brimstone as well so i wouldn't be surprised to see that then moving forward i wouldn't be surprised to see all three maps come through Izer. as uh, so we've got that map selection screen up right now we know that we're going to be looking at breeze for map two and vine for map number three breeze is the oddball coming through a map that we yeah. don't typically get to see especially in collegiate it for a long time held the role that fracture currently holds where it's the perma band we will not touch it we hate it it is icky it is yucky we don't want to see it it's the cheese touch if you will but now uh, the teams have kind of adapted they've gotten used to it and now that fracture that perma band it means that breeze has an option to get picked so we've seen yeah. it come through a lot of series especially with uh, the playoff teams and the teams in the a division uh, if you've been consistently watching this stream we only watch and encapsulate that a division gameplay yeah and breeze has snuck through pretty much every week just because if you're permanently fracture you say okay that means breeze is a, is a map they probably don't know that well and ends up coming through so the team that's picking breeze is usually the team that's winning breeze uh we'll, we'll see what that story ends up being but that that's been a pretty common denominator throughout the season yeah absolutely and like, i like what you said there are a lot of players trying to avoid getting the breeze touch if you know what i mean and then fracture comes out and they're all like wait a minute this is this is worse. So they they full heartedly decided everybody's just pushed Fracture off of the side. Breeze yeah. has become much more popular, especially with the introduction of Chamber, his teleports, his ultimate, his ability to use operators. And Breeze is, I wouldn't say entirely about operators, but they are certainly almost always in play if a team can afford them. So moving into Haven and then Breeze, I think the operator is probably going to be one of our most common guns this evening. Yeah, I would 100% agree with you. And that comes the decision of do you run the Chamber and do you run the jet with it? A lot of teams in collegiate have been. The fact that there's always this carry potential in collegiate, right? It's, that's almost unique to collegiate. Uh, the only exception being like the Brazilian region in terms of professional <laughs> gameplay. But it feels like there's always this carry factor for your duelist on collegiate teams. It just seems like there's some players that can activate, can lock down gains. That's typically going to be a player who's playing jet. We used to see it be Reyna. And then players said, Reyna is so dang useless if I'm not fragging. So the yeah. just a safer option, you've got, regardless, a way to get out easily. You've got Cloudburst, so you get some bit of support. It's helpful in terms of your retake, in terms of your execute. Even though those Cloudbursts are the shortest smokes in the game, about five seconds on them, it still gets you something, it still gets you a safe cross, things like that. So there's still value to be had, and that Jet player can absolutely come alive. So we've seen teams playing the Jet and the Chamber to go with it. I would not be surprised to see it on Haven or Breeze, the both maps where there's incredibly dominant control in terms of opping, as you've mentioned, some of those long sight lines, whether it be C or A long for our map number one, whether it be mid and things of that nature on Breeze. And then 
bind eh, it's 50 50 i mean heaven you can see yeah. it's, so e it's so easy to smoke off it, 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 it's not really a thing you have to worry about especially when we're playing in that omen meta where the smokes recharge i mean there, there's nothing wrong with wasting a smoke on the yeah. off angle because you'll get one back before the ice cube actually comes through so that won't be as big of an issue but we got to get there in the first place Seth Lens. we got we got to get to bind that's map three and uh the way that delaware has been 2-0 and i mean uh, map three it's a it's a little it's just a little brief little question mark yeah and i'm excited because delaware has fallen into a weird circumstance where i feel teams that can succeed on haven can probably find that same level of, of success on breeze because they are both maps that have a lot of very long sites there's similar firefights that happen garage mimicking halls or events and there's a lot of similarities between the two so i'm excited to see how well these teams can come out in delaware a team that i have mentioned and as i'm looking at their names i said i hadn't seen their valorant team i'm a liar i have seen their valorant team before so ah. this is a team i'm familiar with brown Bala in particular is a raise slash sova player a very fascinating combination that i yeah there might be somebody else in the middle there but i know that brown Bala is the very definition of a feast or famine player if i've ever seen one uh comes out and top frags or has not the best game and i don't think i've ever seen them anywhere except the top of the leaderboard or the bottom this is gonna be a hell of a map one <laughs> these come this is gonna be crazy so what we're looking at right now is looking at la tech playing on the defensive side to start things off they're playing an incredibly offensive comp so I would not be surprised to see them push almost every extremity early to the start of this game. In fact, they're running not only that chamber jet combination we talked about, the early space you can take, the ability to get out off right. that early peak. They're also running the double initiator, and that's not with the solo. That's not for extra information. That's with the sky. That's with the KO. That means they've got four flashes on the team. You can count a fifth if you throw in the Omen Paranoia. They're going to get so much space early, and they should be able to get out for free almost on everybody because while you have those the movement utilities with the gem, the chamber, that allow you to get out, you have the flashes still that allow your players to flash themselves out, flash the sight line and still have a chance to make it away whether it be that quick movement whether it just be walking out of the crosses and for delaware we've got the stim beacon on the brimstone only one per round now but still gives them the chance to move very quickly we've got the neon who moves very quickly it's her job that's what she does she has a sprint on her kit they'll have the sova to go with it for that transformation and then they got the breach for their flash this is a game we're looking at a ton of flash a ton of early vision denial these teams are going to run it down be ready for the quickest map of valorant you've ever seen yeah cat if i'm sure about one thing it's that our producer our observer rather is probably gonna have a hard time because yeah, it is smokes have. on smokes on oh, flashes man it is gonna be absolutely insane relay trying to go in with that early aggression in jurassic even being flashed early up there on window you're smoked out so the flash pseudo useless because it's not like they knew you were flashed nobody's going to capitalize off the back and even delaware they, they get the hunch somebody's in there they've got the rough idea that somebody might be there it doesn't really fake they throw all that utility into garage that smoke into window and they also throw that flash to make it look like they've taken the garage control and until that sky smoke is gone longest smoke in the game lasts 20 seconds they've got all this time to walk up a long Take they tuck this flash as well this guy's gonna have no information the drone will give it away towards short but it gives them that space and they've already scaled up a long they can take this pretty easily to the back of ct but on the left of the sky has to give the space away very good fake early even on the pistol that's surprising to see from teams that they actually play that pistol so seriously but they do it works really well now they just have to hold the post point they got a lot of utility to do so yeah, a lot of utility here in the post plant indeed. And honestly, I'm shocked we've made it this far, Cat. We've had a full spike plant in the pistol round. All 10 players still kicking. Nobody has gone down early. We've seen no overextension. And now it's Hobster. Tries to play this low ground. I think that's a great way to really kick off a fight. Next is the first to fall. So nah, not quite going to be next on that one. Relay going to be going back out of the fight. And off is going to have the opportunity to strike. It could fall line. Finds an e limit. Oh my goodness. It's just going to be a bloodbath across the board. LA Tech, they're all trying to move in at the exact same location. Well, Delaware had all their sights lined up together. But oh, you blink and you miss it here, Cat. A fight that started so strong for Delaware. Their locations were predictable. LA Tech knew exactly where they were going to be. And LA Tech wins the round because of it. Don't even die yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything until it happened. Because, you know, I didn't want to be the curse. I wanted you to be the curse if there was going to be one. So, you know, I, I, I kind of let it roll out. But, yeah, you're right. They do... Be able to come through with that retake, the rest of the job gets it done. That's because, ironically, while that fake is really good from Delaware to get everybody over towards that C side and those B floaters to the CT side of things, it means that those players who are floating, who are on the C side, don't have to use any utility. So the only utility we really lose in that push is from Gene on the sky, as he's trying to hold sight to delay for a little bit of time. So he falls, but the rest of the team for LA Tech has their flashes for the retake, especially off. You see come through CT and throws those pop flashes. He's got two on the KO. Down. To make that retake possible for the team. And Delaware just kind of give early peace to get a little too confident with it, not gonna lie. It may be a little bit too confident indeed. And I now am shocked to see LA Tech choosing to kind of give up that garage space once again. 
Delaware, they're giving us an identical play, uh, but this time they're going to rotate around to Seasight, and it looks like LA Tech is going to be ready for them. There's this weird kind of consistency we see in the world of Valorant, where players on the first round of whatever half it may be, almost always does the attacking team go to A-Site. I think that would be the least bit surprising we've ever seen. <laughs> the, least, the least surprising thing we've ever seen. Fairly good default from Delaware. Let's hit everybody into spawn. And LA Tech are doing a great job about not falling for that early utility. They learned from last round already, and that's a quick download for them to see all that utility come through C-Long and say, these guys, they're faking us early. They just did it again. That's probably the reality here. Trademark's going to be early to be. There's something for that quick plant that comes through. They got a quick comp to do so. They're able to sneak through. We'll get caught just a little bit. Once they take that fight with the short, he will win it out as well. Spectre in their hands. They cannot get away from Austin's back. This guy will pick up one of their own. Spike has gone down now, but it's a massacre coming remaining. through with all these play weapons. Awful cleanup too. Jurassic will as well. Lays will set for the smoke to finish the round off. It's 2-0 for LA Tech. They've saved Don't all the guns as well. Well, knife. four of said guns. One will fall, but all Gucci for them. They got four going to the bonus, feeling pretty confident about it as well. Because Delaware are playing so fast, the bonus specters have a pretty good chance to spray down because they want to get close range opportunities anyway. 2-0 looking good for LA Tech to start things off. We all know the statistics on that as well. As if the team wins the first round, they are pretty much expected to win the second. Delaware going to be trying to break that curse right here. But, Kat, this is a dangerous situation because LA Tech, they have the weapons disadvantage. But if they find even one, even two elims, they can win this third round and absolutely ruin the economy on the side of Delaware. Revealing area. It's absolutely true. And I think there's potential for that as well. This bonus definitely has credibility to get converted. Delaware recognize as well. They give so much early spacing. But LA Tech is doing, they're doing a pretty good job on the defense early. I mean, it's only been two rounds, but they're doing a pretty good job about playing very patiently, waiting for mistakes to come through. Awful spray down grass early. Won't catch anything off the bullets, but Relay will be around. He'll hold for now pretty confidently. Delaware just waiting for mistakes. LA Tech yet to push early a single time, so don't expect that mistake to be happening. Right now, Delaware, they have to try to take some space early. They haven't really pushed anything just yet, so it'll make that late run execute a Surprising. lot harder for them as they're really playing four errors that are just not coming to fruition. Zero point will come through. It'll scan two up towards grass, and you'll see a little bit of rotation come through. LA Tech will move the A site player over of the jet. They'll move over to that A link position. Leave this guy to back of the side just to play for flashes. Some info. Trademark's going to be there. Good registration from Delaware to recognize we can shock both that and get ourselves into the site. So they will no slow this go around. They do get all that B site. But remember how fast the take was last time for LA Tech. Remember the potential that they're going to have with these guys in hand. Gasser's found one. They're going to push into site now. That lightning link is stolen for just a bit of time. G didn't step through. We'll catch one. That's a phantom he picked up. Now they can start to play the way forward and they've got flashes to play out this dark cover as well. They've gotten all the site control already. Now they just need to be able to push out to get the extra space. Drone will tag one. Beautiful flash from Jeeton. He's at a late trade. He's going to go for brown ball. I want to get it found. But he does swing through for one second. Gonna fall on the spike at 3k now. It's off. We'll go down. Lazy Tron makes something happen outside of garage. He was that late lurk. Look for the presence, but Exotics is gonna walk down grass and take him out. It's one to two for Delaware. They able they're able to convert the anti bonus, but they only keep two guns. So still a little poor into this round. Have to decide if they want to force or not. Looks like that is gonna be the call. Yeah, gonna be the call there. And Delaware, they win the round almost entirely off the back of Brown Bala, who picks up all three of the elims they have available right now. And they lose three on the way. That's the type of round that a team wants to win with as few casualties as possible, Cat. And that is really going to be something to sell that team short. They only have two players survive. The rest has to buy up. And it makes the econ really shaky moving forward. Right side, LA Tech also doesn't have a phenomenal econ after losing that previous round. Because they did. They were on a bonus. Their econ hasn't really had room to grow. That blade is going to come out early. That 0 0.9 from LA Tech gives away a lot of intel. Four players from Delaware caught by it. Oh, and already Jeezy getting ready to spice things up. Looking to catch one, not quite the shot to be hit, but information known about. Still going to have a guy in light to work with as well. His ultimate two, if they want to give sight to the retake, it wouldn't be the worst call in the world. This push is going to come through rather quickly. Oh, she can't step out of the custom class, and doesn't matter. Fucking cuss still picks up both. The one taps are still good. Next one, another one back to the side of Safferty. The breach is going to fall. Relay will take two back, though. He's got the space on the side. He knows he's got to be towards short, but he's still tapping off those heads. 3K for Gina, 3K for Relay as well, and still full health to work with for this Neon as well. Minutes to play with, some spacing to be worked as well. I'm out of here. I wouldn't be surprised to see Relay minute. bring out the ultimate here. I, I think that is a really easy way to get kills from long distance. It kills very quickly, arguably the fastest ult kill in the game other than a single oh. one tap. Could be a huge opportunity, but as Relay comes in for the pseudo flank, once again, trying to cover the area as quickly as possible. Looking more for Elims than safety. They know they've got 30 seconds on the clock. They're not worried left. about planting quite yet, but 
Relay might be walking right into Jurassic's crosshair. And, oh, Jurassic just forgets to click. Oh, a devastating line. If you found the Elim, you know it's a clean 1v1. You've guaranteed the spike plant. Can you guarantee the ace here to wrap up round four? That's the question. Cat and Relay just getting out of dodge straight away. A huge opportunity now because that is not planted for a long. Going in halfway done already. The fake. And it works out well. Lazy finds that kill on to Relay preventing the ace and securing a third round win for LA Tech. Ooh, that is tough for Relay. Does all the work, but just cannot finish it in the end. Then when comes to for Lazy, you can tell he was thinking about trying to walk all the way around to short. To be able to give himself a position like plans for short, but uh, unlucky, really. Lazy's already there, and that's just going to lose this information there. He has a nice play. He sneaks down towards short. He that runs works. all the way through and then walks back. He's trying to fake LA Tech on the movement. You see them start to move, and then they go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Surely, surely he's faking us. Let's wait on A. And then if he does plan for you, we can retake 1v2 together. That way, we know we're going to have an advantage going forward. And unfortunately, they read relay correctly. They're there for it. And he doesn't quite know where Lazy's going to be anymore. He takes so much time for his initial contact. It's so fascinating how Valorant can become this game of faking somebody's fake who's faking your Turning fake. Ahead. And it really becomes like who can play further into the fake game. And then sometimes faking the fake can just be enough. But it really becomes this weird kind of like flow chart of should I, shouldn't die. And it looks like it was yeah. going to work out well for Relay. They unfortunately just lost the firefight in the final moments there. And a 3-1 scoreline, definitely not bad. Getting even a round on the board shows there's absolutely momentum for Delaware here. And it's to note. They are the underdog, and by a notable bunch, so it is very important they fight as many rounds as possible, particularly in the first half, because I think this is more of an offensive-sided team. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You just want to grab a couple rounds on the defense, and if you've got three, you're doing a pretty dang good job already. Seekers will come through for the retake this go-around. They didn't need them last round, so throw them into this one. Fragment's too early to front of the psych and deny that plant for quite a bit of time, and Delaware back to the roots, back to the B side. The only thing they're being allowed spacing on they haven't really been able to hold the post plant yet. They've tried twice. Neither time has been out planted. This one's different. Plant's gone down now. That goes down. And it's going to be successful. A weird spot for sure. People love to hug those default corners. Make it really difficult what a fate. for a team to move in. Hopster, though, comes around the corner. Finds a double tap. Taking down the tour de force. A huge opportunity for Delaware to keep themselves on top. Jurassic maybe smoking out mid though. And now, uh, um, Orbital Strike, excuse me, from the brim. Just to time. I think we're all about running it down. Jurassic a little too confident. Walks straight into Brown Bala. 34 HP to Dream. Auth with the blind fire takes down the Soba. It is a 1v1 of the highest degree, 34 HP for Auth, and this is going to be practically unwinnable. You've got to win the firefight and spray. You've got enough time on that spike. That's exactly where he's at, but that spike tick is getting faster here. Cat time is running out, but Auth is going to be able to find three, put him down, and it looks like they are going to be able to find oh, the yeah, defuse. Yeah, he's got... Oh! Uh, as, if chat can't find out, right now I don't have audio and I can't figure out why. So I'm going entirely off of physical cues. Uh, that was definitely a bad call on my part, but a round win regardless. Delaware now down by only a single round. Let's go around okay. Delaware. They're able to hold on just barely on that B site post plan. They do get the slight advantage going into that one because they just found frags, man. That's they just fragged spot. down. That was their eco round as well. That they come works. out of it on that half buy. They win it out. That helps eco just a little bit for them. It's broken eco for LA Tech. Seems to get the chill just a bit. They should have this round in the bag. You just want to keep guns alive in the scenario if you're them. Early garage. Neon slid through. I just caught Jurassic, though. Look come back. That. Ooh, he's caught, though, by the sheriff. That's going to be a rifle to be converted. As g has a nice one tap there. They'll pick that one up. Flash as well outside of garage. That'll pop for one. So they have information that rotates coming in. That's confident information. As he sits here at the top of a lobby in Delaware, they say, what's open? Yet again, it's the B site. They'll head back to the roots. Constantly, the plant's going to go there. Name a better duo. You couldn't if you tried. Might as well get married Spike at this point. Planted. Lazy was thinking about trying to grab the knife. He'll get caught. Un unlucky, down. really. g will trade one back, though. Jeetan going to be able to find that trade, like you said, we're a 3-3. Everybody's dancing in the garden right now, but Jeetan is going to be the remaining. one buried there, pushing daisies. Brown Ball have picked up a double e and the opportunity to come through is growing. Off takes out that chamber early, opening up B-side once again. Spike in a really rough spot here. This is going to be difficult because this, this KO, he's just got to play it calm, cool, and collected. Plays cards right when it matters most. Oh, throwing up the nade early, getting flashed into oblivion, got intel on at least one of the players, but not quite the other. I think a double peek could work really well here if they just kind of go for it together. They've got the location. I'd love to see the peek now, but they're taking turns, Cat, and I'm not particularly fond of that. If they peek at the same time, there's no way KO kills both of you. Safadi still going to be able to clean it up and tie the series 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're looking for the play there, just staggering those peeks, throwing that util double shot start to come through. All they're doing there... Killing the time. Let that time tick down. Make it take longer and longer. Don't allow an opportunity for him to come through. Just in case 
he does downloads downloads and plays you know you never know what happens sometimes he hits the double spray transfer he hits two one taps and uh you get unlucky i like the call there for them to just pace and wait that one out and then as you say there's no time left for the defense to come through you see the double peak that way to make sure that he's not able to save that rifle not able to get a gun out the round very good stuff from them you do like to see you want that to and play go let's back play the old way is back to the initial default we'll split way further into a long this go around thinking about bringing that chamber up he's got no rendezvous set up though so you gotta be careful how far you scale up to a long here because you do get in the scenario where you get stuck but right now so far so good delaware will slowly start to work spacing early and we haven't really seen them take any initial control it's kind of been look for a peak look for la tech to do something goofy and then we'll play forward so i would like to see them take just a little more initiative to the start of the rounds a little bit more initiative i think could go a long way cat i think that's a spot-on analysis to see just how far that overextension or red i mean regular extension at this point because we're seeing very little of it could really go for a team classic push down a long right now having somebody guard out sewers brown Molly uses the owl drone to get in there and create some space but at the same time this is a risk play because if you go out far enough they know the drone is coming and that almost oh, always means me. the team is very or very close behind excuse me relay able to find that game onto off early exotic looking for a second one and picks it up 5v3 in favor of delaware and i'd be ready to hand it to them but they actually lost a 5v3 earlier i believe it was round two or three they ended up losing it was a very unfortunate circumstance and now we're gonna have to really see them play this calm, cool, and collective. The way LA Tech won it is they knew the exact locations, the angles Delaware was going to be holding, and Delaware defaulting back to those very same angles here, Cats. So this is true. a high risk, high reward play if I've ever seen one. And lazy, I mean, reading exotic like a book there, it seems like LA Tech knows exactly where a team's going to be defaulted to stand. and. They're going to blind fire those shots. Relay, the next to go. All of a sudden, it's a 3v2. Hopster finds one. Takes out a second Jurassic there to clean it up. 2v1. Jurassic full HP. A real opportunity to win this if they play fast enough. And Safadi going down is a great way to open that up once again. A possible Hunter's Fury. Pros don't fake. Oh, nope. Pros do fake. Pros get a 4k. And pros are winning the round for their team. LA Tech looking great. Jurassic just carrying the team to that fourth round win. Timing. Caught him purely off of timing there for that breach down short the fall line comes out Jurassic tucks it able to find one he's able to sit there on that spike he knows he's got the spacing could have held it the whole way through to be honest you're not able to get there in time if you're brown ball because he does go for that dart but better safe than sorry for Jurassic Peak comes through has the read there very easily great stuff from him and you mentioned they're able to find the retake last round for LA Tech because they knew exactly where those initial crossfires are those default crossfires you see consistently on post plants okay. and then they have those KO flashes to go with this time the KO is gone they use a sky flash instead because Jason gives the side away Good stuff from him. You like to see that. Makes it happen for the team. And uh, I think uh, you like to hear that too, Seth Mons, no? I do like to hear that. I just figured out how to fix my audio issue. So I am fully back into things here. Really going to be peeking into Garage. A great smoke out onto Jurassic. Very reminiscent of round one. Where Jurassic stuck out in this corner. The shock dart comes what through. And good Jurassic. I mean, folded like a lawn chair. They, they knew somebody was up there. They get the elim. And then, what yeah, the Sova flings util. right away. A phenomenal use of that util. Relay, finds Lazy, Jeeton takes out Hobster. Possibly too little too late. Delaware in a really strong position to win this, but if we see that same default error that we've seen on a site twice now, that can be a real disaster against Delaware. They don't clear, they don't clear, they don't clear. They don't clear the silver. Oh, he hears him. He peeks oh, really late, but uh, all good. All good. <laughs> Better late than never. KO now. Yeah, most certainly. <laughs> and we'll walk away CT2. So Gene's in an awkward scenario. Gets the free res. The KO's back up. Gotta swing quickly, though. Okay, I love. All good. I love the play from Brown Bola there. I think that was really intelligent. It, it was a soft play. They ran as fast as they could around looking for the double kill off the back of the res. But unfortunately, it was like one second too late. And in the world of Valorant, a second is an eternity, especially in 1v1 situations just like this. We have yet to see Delaware. Delaware. Okay, excuse me. We've seen Delaware win these 1v1s a single time, and it just happened right there. Every single time, otherwise, we've seen a 1v1. Delaware has dropped the ball just one second too late, and yep. LA Tech was able to clutch. But that clutch from the side of Delaware, Exotic picking up that Elim, has tied the series once again. I will say that is a hard one to lose. A very hard one to lose for your, if you're exotic because you just have so much control down long. You don't really even have to shoot them. You just kind of have to jiggle enough right. for them to get off spike. And is able to do so. You see the holds start to come through, but it's easy swings. It's easy swings, easy days for exotic. Handles the pressure well. And great util. Just a util difference all the way through getting them into garage. They throw not only the concussive blast there for the neon, but they throw shock bolt as well to kill the first omen. Then you do the same thing towards C where they throw that that drone down. Just make that making that space and making it possible. Drone tag, that can be Hunter's Fury. 
Should be Hunter's Fury. No, instead of the laser coming out from Neon, she goes in deep. Relay oh, takes out flash. two. Blink and so you miss blind. the flash. It is just phenomenal. It takes them down. They had nowhere to hide. It was just a crouch and pray they don't see you scenario. But Relay was hunting, looking for blood there. A huge opportunity in favor of Delaware once again. I've got to say, Kat, and I think you're going to agree, the C site is clearly much stronger than Delaware's yeah. A site. And I would love to see them continue to utilize this as they seem just more, much more comfortable in their place. Oh, a great example. Hobster having the exact lineup they needed, playing that calm, cool, collected play style. Omen walks right into it. You're dead. Relay with the shorty kill onto next. And I think this was a save round for LA Tech because the chamber had, I think, only his eight headhunter bullets and nothing else. Yeah, now it's a save. Well, if it wasn't a save round, it is now. That's for sure. <laughs> Gene will walk away towards hell and Relay is. Do it. Oh, Do it to him. That. Oh, did he check out? He just heard the flash. He knows. Do it to him. Get him. Get him, Relay. Get in there. Get out. No. Oh, the flash off and around the corner. Jeton finds an elim, pads the stats, and saves the gun. 5-4 in favor of Delaware. Underdogs taking the lead for the first time. That flash is phenomenal to get them in. Relay works perfectly off of it. Power slides his way down to the back of Seasight. Just as that breach flash pops on the back of the box. They're completely blind, able to swing through the freest laser pointer shots of his entire life, like he's given a presentation, Google Slides format, back in elementary school. Easy for him, light work, makes it happen. So by that point, the site's wide open, the sky smokes are there for both CT and Garage, means that nobody's getting another peak coming through. Absolutely nail that one. Nail it like a T. G gonna take space early A long. We haven't seen LA Tech take space in a while. I think this is smart because nobody would be expecting this. Like you said, LA Tech has Easy played it really dead. slow. Gonna be flashing in. Brings out a second hawk in an attempt to get out instead of pushing in. A really fascinating play and one that somehow doesn't cost anybody. Everybody walks out of that AOK. -okay. It's off. Who's taken down early, putting a 5v4 back in favor of Delaware. I think this is the first time we've seen them with a numbers advantage outside of a, a spike yeah, plant, yeah, a post plant scenario. Yep. Yep, absolutely it is. The first time we've seen them grab the initial pick to now play for the execute, and that's because LA Tech has been giving them looks early. They finally start to do so as Delaware's been grabbing rounds. Oh. It does not work out for them. Lighting lane, we get them in. Back into the C site. This boy wide open. Hunter's Fury hasn't found any tags just yet. Will not, but all good because they've made the spacing regardless. I would have loved to see that Hunter's Fury come out a little bit later. I think that would have worked well. Keep him down on C long. Wait till you hear somebody tap spike and then send it out. That's my favorite use of a Hunter's Fury on offense like this is to prevent a retake scenario and it looks like it's not going to be, you know, damning them to lose the round or anything quite, especially as it's only a 4v3. As long as Jeeton is alive, I think the round is insanely winnable for LA Tech. Jeeton is the only player on their team with double digits right now. Really uh, heavy lifting all of LA Tech for the time being. For Jurassic, you can't forget a CT. Through. Now suddenly still finds a frag. Ground Bottle will grab two back, though. Quick trades. And Gene, you've got no chance at this one time. Just running way too short, trying to do econ damage. One enemy you really remaining. shouldn't do oh! econ damage. You're sitting at 50 creds. You need the Vandal to get out. Gonna try to. Getting caught by Ground Bottle almost certainly. This flash to come through. He's have booking the information it. on it, though. He's got two bolts in his Vandal step once. Oh! And it looks the like read. It, it looks like Brown the Ball read. is only gonna need three. The perfect read on where that guy's gonna be standing. The wall bang kill comes through and cleans house for Delaware. It was a one player win advantage, so the econ should be hurting, but Brown Ball are hanging out at 8,300 creds. My man is about to max out here in round 11. <sighs> it's another save like from that. LA Tech, too. That was just like that. LA Tech eco broken yet again. And when able to save the one rifle, they could have got out of things. Just Brown Ball. I got the, the clean reads, my man. Got the reading glasses on deck. And LA Tech look to send two up a long. We talked about it. We've seen them as they start to get more and more desperate. Start to lose more and more rounds. They start to look for early aggression. And Septi, there was a reason Cover they were looking out. for early aggression when we started the game. Because it just ain't been working. That's not their bread and butter. Their bread and butter is chilling. Letting the opponent make mistakes. And right now, they're just kind of walking into them. Walking into them has been a, a real issue. And I think I'd like to see LA Tech play kind of how we saw the Sky playing last round. A little aggressive, but oh, not blind, you know, oh, yeah. barnstorming one of these locations. Down. I think it would really work out well to keep that general aggression up, or at least hold closer angles to make sure that Delaware isn't going to get oh. sites for free. Spike Just like this, Jurassic taken down early by Hobster, and now it's Delaware on site once again. LA Tech really fumbling in these retakes, and Delaware, they're looking. They're hunting for kills, but Safadi is the one to find the first. Next is going to be the one to come through and find that Elim. Oh my goodness, this could be a flawless round here, Cat. 
link and oh! we'll sit into the next round already into the lobby already think about spawning back in for the gun round flaws for delaware Last and uh, round before you know, the switch i know i'm the color caster septuins but this is this is about all i can give you it's a kindergarten art project uh they got eco whether they were on the eco round there, there wasn't really much that they could do Gotta um go. it, it looked like they were on the eco too it's about they got, got eco got. they got egoed the blind fire into the yeah. smoke to take out the sole survivor really <laughs> really gonna be hurting some egos down the line but cheating hanging out 15 and 8 most elims in lobby which is shocking because they haven't gotten an elim in the last two rounds Don't so they even... were really holding on to that elim kind of boost for a while next playing up close and personal with the op and you love to see it gotta be careful moving though even a fraction of a step can absolutely ruin the angle of that op shot i've learned that far too many times delaware playing early grass have no control over anything wow because they are not looking anywhere else other than garage they do get the garage pick though it's jurassic who's just cheesing on top of the box jurassic starting to get bullied yeah a little bit a little bit and this drone will go through garage window they've taken the space in garage but that's all the space they've taken there's two players c long this is the la tech retake gambit this round so they're able to send two now one looking for the flank and it's been this guy consistently taking this flank the chamber can come through ct and they've got two long going forward they got one with flash potential as well this read it could pinch so quickly unless uh delaware walk away delaware Which, it's like they have a read on the read here they're, they're really yeah. playing it slow they they're like hmm, what if somebody is on c-site we haven't seen or heard anyone they've got to be at least outside of one of our locations lazy now gonna be in a tough spot had the headhunter excuse me the tour de force and Gonna be feeling the force of a couple of bullets straight to the dome. Relay finds that Elim early. It's already a 5v3. Such a blink and you miss it moment. Delaware there back on top. The flash comes through an exotic. Trying to get out of there in time of breach flash. A stun trying to get him out. But Jeeton finds that headshot kill. Has time to commit the seekers. And this is gonna be tough. All of LA Tech pushing from the same choke here, Cat. There's few ways that this goes well. Very few, and uh, right now not fighting them. Seven found one a second to go with it. Looking for his three piece now to trade his teammate. Doesn't even need to. Brown ball will step out garage. We'll seal the deal down grass. Eight to four for Delaware. And the attacking after took them a, a bit sides. of time yeah, to figure out how to make this composition useful. And it's so ironic because they never once take early presence anywhere other than one lane, which you'd think initially that's bad, right? They've got no map control. How are they going to win the round? It's actually really good for this comp because this comp has such an ability to play off contact. Hell, that round they don't even have contact. They just yeah. they just go. It's they, a, it's a death ball comp. It, you're an Overwatch caster. It's a dive comp, realistically. Yeah, and they just are able to dive into sites for free. It doesn't matter how many defenses are there. It doesn't matter, matter how many players are there. They can literally just run it down. And they give us a showcase on it in those last five rounds. They just run it down every single round contact or not info or not it's, it's easy money for them now they gotta do on the defensive side of things i'd expect them to play pretty hard for retake we're seeing the i think fourth save round from la tech they're only bringing out pistols and that is going to be a really oh, tough circumstance death. to win we're already past the 9-3 curse scenario so you can't really be banking on that moving into the <laughs> end of the series but at delaware they're looking to put as many down as possible i mean this is just where they can really take it away. They win this pistol round and they can the retake. hold LA Tech. Here's the retake. So I'm Somebody comes through. First Elon, you get a spike plant, you get 400 more credits, but was it worth losing a teammate that early? Absolutely not. Pistol coming through is really going to be hurting this headhunter. It's such a dangerous play here, Kat, because you have five bullets. Ideally, you get five headshots. Other than that, you're relying on a classic, which is a, a stinky gun, if I do say so myself. Obster, though, putting that headhunter to work, taking out Jeeton early, going for a bit of a ninja defuse. One enemy remaining. Wow. So they get all this control going up a long. They put the Sova up in that direction. And because it is a pistol round, there's not a trademark on it for the chamber. Probably because they buy headhunter bolts instead. Uh, most chambers are buying five headhunter shots and then buying light armor. So don't use the other trade going to that round. They recognize Brown Baller walks all the way around. They're waiting to play Relay out of Garage. Relay gets impatient and says, I'm just going in. Loses the 1v1. By that point, Brown, Brown Ball is all the way around to get the two behind regardless. That's a good and start. then they just have smokes to come forward. They were initially going to play off the Stem Beacon as two. It was going to be Safety and the Brimstone running it down. They said, we don't even need to do that. We just we just wait a little bit. They don't have control. We'll take it instead. And a, 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 clinical, uh... a clinical retake for B. Relay getting a little too over aggressive for my liking. Maybe flashed out and probably killed for it. The double right click comes through from Jeeton, and that's going to be the opener. They needed to move into the seaside. A little bit of action up into the um, garage window as well. LA Tech with the first Elam for a while. Cat, there was a point in this series we were looking at a 4 4 score line. Delaware is now five rounds ahead of that. We're looking at a 9 4, and this is the team that's supposed to lose. This is the team that's supposed to get stomped. And right now, they are looking great to walk away with at least map one. I told you, man. 
Number one seed in my heart for a reason. Brown Bala will number one out the round and will give away respect to the number one donor to the LA Tech University right now. They're happy to have that one in the well, they will grab some more picks for their troubles. Jeans picked up exotic. And, well, Seklis, why did you do this? Why, why did you say that? I, I apologize to. to the fans in the I, chat. You're man. right, everybody, Delaware fans. I'm so sorry. I ain't mean. I was confident in my boys. I knew they were going to be coming out strong, give them momentum, uh -oh. and you want a knife a little stinky. A you want to make even worse? Do it. You won't. Oh, yeah, and there it is. Thanks a lot, Septulence. Septulence caused that knife kill, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lazy gonna look for one more to go with it with the Spectre. Not to be found just yet. Safi just trying to hold on to some bear. Yeah. We'll turn the flag. Oh! Find two. Maniac there's behavior. A there's a little bit of time left. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's got this, bro. Uh, well, never mind. No, I'm gonna come through. That's it. Kills too much time. I believe safadi has got this. He might not get the defuse, but he gets the 4K here. See? Oh, mm. close. Now, why would you say that, man? Why would you say he was the 4K? You jinxed him, dude. Why would you? you why would what? you do that? Actually, actually Come on, man. Really bad. I'm sorry. Come on, I said man. That. Uh, uh, you're right. Jeez. Uh, Blue Hens fans, that's honestly, that's my bad. Definitely, I'm definitely not the one to say that they should have been stomped and have been stomping and won five rounds in a row and it was 4-4 four, four yeah, Come on, Cat, now, now dude, you know we shouldn't say stuff like that. Come it's on, called the like, caster you're, you're curse, bro. The caster curse, bro. Like, come, come on, on. I, can't, I just can't believe that. But, uh, hey, all good. Sometimes you take the anti-eco and, and you lose. And that's that's okay, smile. They're they're all good. They're going to look to play Gamble Stack right now. They put everybody over towards C site. And they actually, for the first time, rare we say this, they got the gamble stack right. They're actually yeah. ready for it. Still have bad utility, but they've got a chance. This wolf is about to be in for one hell of a surprise. As <laughs> all five players from the team are going to be over there. Exotic taking down early a 4v5. Jeetan goes in quick to find relay. Safadi takes down next, and the action can still work out well as long as Safadi is alive. Doing a phenomenal job of the defense. Off picks up two more, and Hobster gets one. Can you find two more, my friend? No! Falls a little bit off to the side, and that Phantom going to be biting a couple too many bullets. Going to be the seventh round win for LA Tech. Pretty good eco. Pretty good eco. Realistically, gamble stack, correct or not, they they, they ain't got guns, bro. What, what right. are they going to do? And the answer is not a ton. They do get three down, though, which means their eco definitely will benefit from that. Well, not their eco won't benefit, but the LA Tech eco won't benefit. So the fact they have to rebuy means that the economic advantage isn't insane. So they, if LA Tech wins that round convincingly, it means that they've got free money because they were able to convert what was the eco for them second round. And then things just really start to get snowball-y. But they've managed to avoid the situation for now. If they win this round, they set themselves back up to even. LA Tech's still going to have a rebuy. So nonetheless, they're still feeling pretty Scout good. Destroyed. Even though they do drop three guns, have to rebuy those three. And LA Tech, you can tell they're feeling confident. But they still have that respect for Delaware right now because they do go for that early default. They go for early util kills. Spike down now with the scale up A long, Brown Bali going to stop that for now. Gets the info. You see the sky smoke go down to prevent them. LA Tech still haven't fully committed yet. Yeah, and Kat, I like a point you made there where this is really a risky round on both sides because Delaware, if they lose this round, things are going to be really against them in terms of econ. It'll practically be tied up at least in 8-9 before Delaware can full buy into the next yep. round. But LA Tech, they're in a tough spot as well because their econ, it's good enough to survive maybe one more round. But even then, I think they're already sacrificing util. Both not going to check a very important corner and going to give their life for it. 2 HP, Brown Ball, and now finding their second elim of the round by B2. The spike may be planted on B side, but... Not far after that. I, I think this is going to be a tough one to win. Very tough one to win. Oh, he's yeah. going to make it even harder. He's already around. Bring the ults round. Why not? I mean, ensure it for yourself. Make sure you have money. One These guys aren't doing anything here. One to fall. Jurassic gets one just for the boys. Blind Sheriff fire. Sheriff wants to have to come through. He'll be gone now. GG's only 10 to 6 for Delaware. Around they needed to win in terms of keeping go, this go, game go. close. Making sure things don't run away. They get it indeed. As Relay runs himself into Garage, the LA Tech squad rebuying in their spawn. Gene, the only one who's not going to be able to get that buy out. Sit on the Sheriff. Um, honestly, they could play for Jet Bladestorm here. It's two Ult Orbs away, which feels really far. I mean, two Ult Orbs. There's only two Ult Orbs on the map. They have to default for one and then grab the second. And we know Delaware is not taking early presence. You want so to play? Let's play. Pretty doable. Looks like they want to play C-Long instead. Court of Forest coming up early as well. A great opportunity for Lazy to find that Elim onto Relay. And Relay, a real power player so far for Delaware. So losing them early can definitely spell disaster. An Eli trade to come through could be huge. Can we tab real quick? Can we, can we not, thank you. Uh, that Okay, good. Lazy had a gun at the start of the round. Dropped it for Next, who didn't have a gun. Picked up Tour de Force. Same thing gets done. So it's not the Blade Storm. Oh, it's the, Blade it's the Tour de Force to make up for a different gun, right? So yeah. the Chamber is a great econ agent because he's got the... 
his headhunter to work for your ecos but then he's also got himself the tour de force for bigger rounds so it works out all the same just differently yeah there's definitely the the blade storm principle if you will is definitely being played here it's the, just the tour de force instead of that blade storm and that's actually going to be great because if la tech loses the round following this one or perhaps even this one as it's tied back up four to four by brown Bala, they can then blade storm to fill in for somebody else because next saves full econ here because their gun was given to them by a teammate exotic serve takes out next early so that gun doesn't even fire a bullet before they're taking down hopster picks up another one of the hunters fury coming out into the whole time to the point finds one off takes it down an exotic cleans it up around that felt very strongly could have been in favor of la tech is instead gonna be delaware all day long winning their 11th round we're getting danger close to the end here felt very strongly it was it, it, that was la tech's round very they, true. they get the fake over to a long they put all that pressure there they sell it pretty well as well they move a player over there's only one really holding the seaside the other one's stuck in ct and somehow it just doesn't matter delaware come out and they they just hit the shots and that there's nothing that hurts more really for an offense than doing everything right your igl makes the right call he has the read he gives you the space and you make sure you can set up your post successfully and they say but we'll just shoot you yeah it's, it's a mechanics diff unfortunately sometimes and it really can be in circumstances like that one like you said everything can go right and so you can lose the firefight just like that happened to la tech a moment ago an early flash comes in, gives a little bit of info away. You're like, oh, Breach is on A, but that doesn't really open up much more than the simple knowledge he's nearby. So will that be enough to deter LA Tech from locating or at least approaching this A site? Oh, good nice. flash early. Gives them instance to A long. It also gives noise for the brim. He's going to be making comms probably pretty drastically here as this push continues to move on. We'll use Sky Smokes. He does get the Molly out before that suppression goes He's through. Dead. Nice will take the space for the Paranoia. Good util usage as well. Frost to come through, grab that frag. LA Tech going to have the space, but we've seen them have the space before on the execute and not without the post plan. So there's still, there's still a chance. There's definitely a chance here, especially with Safadi in alive in a really easy, flashable location. Can find four quite a two. few. Brown Bala has got some info. Let's see the floor bang, man. He's able to find a little bit of damage, but no, not even close to enough. Sending in a, a recon bolt to get a little bit of intel on where some folks might be. The smoke up onto the high ground makes it all the harder. He drops right into some crosshairs, and that's going to be lazy. Getting up a double kill. A high risk play has absolutely no reward in Delaware. Handing this round to LA Tech on a silver platter. It's like the McDonald's drive through That was fast food, man. They dropped down for him. They said, you want a napkin to go with it? Come, come on now, boys. I mean, It's not delivery, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm the, look, it's not delivery. It's Delaware. They had a really good retake going into the C site, man. But when, I don't know what it is there in A. I, I feel like they got just too confident on the recon yeah, for ground baller to drop down there. He thinks there's nobody held. There's nobody close box. But that smoke came through it was like this one, weird one way that blocked the entire dart. And so all the info they thought they had was misinfo, pseudo information to them. And well, that's why we don't we don't mess with pseudoscience, because it didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work at all. They're completely wrong on the read. They come down, they drop into players' crosshairs, and they get they get fragged. It was our second flawless round of the evening. We saw one from Delaware and not one from LA Tech. Out of across the this. huge opportunity. Next is not checking corners, peeking far too far forward before they really go for the extension. The paranoias, though, I've got to say, I've been loving these paranoia usages. I think they are working so super well for LA Tech. And as Delaware has the numbers now, they have to play their cards right because even, yep, even something just like that relay barely makes it out with their life. 31 HP and a dream, 3v2 in favor of Delaware, but two of, Delaware, two of LA Tech's strongest players still alive. This game slowly starting to unravel. It's the playoffs. The tensions are high. It's quarterfinals, almost the semis. These trophies sent out to the top three teams, so I can understand. I can certainly understand Seth Wentz, but come on, boys. Had a very composed, a very formal start to the game. We told you the game would be fast, right? True. Delaware taking us a lot faster going into their defensive side, but you got to be careful how much you give away. Fortunately, they are able to get that brim out of A short to keep it alive, which means they have this smoke to go here, which is going to work great for their neon. So fortunately, they do pull back that bit of control, but we got to get the leashes back on the dogs because right now they're, they're running away. They're going crazy. They're rabid. They're, they're buying other dogs in the dog park. One enemy oh! Bite down for one a no! second as well. Very clean, and that's because that brimstone stayed alive A short. That makes that play possible 12 7 for delaware who'd get that composure Match just point. in time in the round to win it out even without that brim smoke there cat we saw a very yeah. large mistake one that i've been beating on for quite a while i mean it has been la tech is not checking corners and they're not checking major corners corners where people almost always are including the one on box there jurassic 
didn't even move their mouse right. They weren't even going to give that corner the time of day, and Relay was right there to deliver another round win. That could have very likely been our penultimate round of Haven. Delaware, they are five E-limbs away from just winning Haven out 13-7. to seven. Yeah, which is ironic because Delaware's been playing pretty aggressively, and they've been taking early gunfights. You should almost expect them to walk up A-long. And if not A-long, somewhere else. I mean, Re Relay is consistently being a nuisance garage door. And if he gets the space, he's going to take it. Trying to take B-long right now. Doesn't have a smoke to work with. They're going to get caught by the trademark. That's info. We'll have to back away from it. But it's stuff just like that. Relay's been consistently being this nuisance. You should always be checking A-long, at the very least. Without a doubt. If you're going to push up, that's where you're going to go. That's what I'm saying. It's just... It's been a very fast game, a very tough game, and sometimes that bit of things will lose you, especially if you're Agile screaming at you, scale a long, quick, 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 take the space. <laughs> we have the space, I promise. And that's the danger of trying to have reads that you don't necessarily have. Um, it just happens sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it happens. We'll let it slide. Don't let it happen again, though. You're one round from going down on one. And Delaware, they... This is their map pick, right? I feel like that's something really important to consider is this is the map they were comfortable on, they were confident on, and one they were willing to bring to the table in only a best of three series. Putting this map down gives them a one point advantage, puts them technically on series point. However, next map pick will be LA Tech, so that'll be Breeze. We'll get to that in the future, but if Delaware can show up on Breeze, like they play. have here on Haven, I think things can work really well for them. Orbital Strike comes out early, does just a bit of damage to Jurassic, removing all armor, making that Elan a whole lot easier. Next with a great crossfire here, it looks like a fast rotation will not work well in favor of Delaware. Like the first one to go down and Hobster taking a bit of damage on the heaven as well. Spike this retake was a struggle for them before. They're going to play dart from heaven yet again. This ground's the shock for though. Actual recon hasn't gone through. Oh! Ground ball will find one with the shock. Relay will pick up one as well. Who now gets around the flank. We'll take a second to go with it. He's going to fall. Javster to come out with the shoulder peek for one. Dart the still vengeance! hasn't cleared, but Brown Ball will clear this go around. He's learned from his mistakes. He must be a mastermind in the classroom. If he can retake assessments, he probably always comes through and gets the 100% at the end. Because he jumps down to close box, he clears the first angle, and then he clears hell too. I love to see players developing. 13-7, your score line. And Delaware, well, remember uh, my, my friend here, Seth Flint, he told you in the middle of the game, we expected the team to maybe get stomped, maybe get rolled. They're, they're 14C, but they've looked very dominant. And nothing yeah. bad happened because we said that. No doubt. Nothing bad. You said not that. not even a single wrong because we said that, Kat. That is that is absolutely no, correct, my friend. No, because we said, said that. I think you were right the first time. But no, jokes aside, Delaware really showing up well, absolutely defying that seed expectation. You, you think this is the type of team that is really going to struggle and they show up and they're forcing other teams to struggle as they walk away really dominant. I believe we're going to be throwing it to a super short break. So we're going to give the teams time to get water, use the restroom. And I suggest everybody watching, you do the same as well. But come right back here for some more ECAC playoffs, Valorant edition. In just a little bit, we'll see you right back here. Boys, guarantee you, boy, fire as far. This gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, as soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head.
What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a cloud two wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to capping them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two rents they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big on my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the ECAC Valorant Playoffs semifinals, excuse me, quarterfinals happening right here, right now. I am Sepulens, joined still by handsome and talented Catenator 3K. We're going to be bringing you our second and, who knows, maybe final map of the evening, but only time will tell on that one. Yep, certainly only time will tell. And Sepulens, uh, we've been told that uh, you got yourself some new peripherals. You got yourself a, a new microphone from one of our sponsors, HyperX. Is that true? I did. Them? I did. That is true. I can mm. even hold it up, put it in cam nice. a little bit, Very put it in frame. Oh, so nice. So nice. He got himself a new microphone, guys. And, uh, well, I got a new monitor. I can't really hold it up and show you, but, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Lenovo Legion. And, uh, I'll, let me tell you that they know you play to win, Sepulens. They know yeah. that you want to stand out from the competition. The best way to do that is getting equipment that matches the speed of your thoughts and actions. Now, it doesn't really match mine. I'm kind of slow, but like for you guys, for you guys in the chat who uh, who are better gamers than me, it might. And that's the Lenovo, the, 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 the hello, hello, the Lenovo <laughs> Legion Y25 monitor, guys. It delivers wins in the toughest, most critical situations. It's got an extreme one millisecond response time. That's pretty fast. Uh, if my girlfriend texted me that fast, we'd have a better relationship. To its insane 240 hertz refresh rate. And guys, the Legion Y25 doesn't just keep up, but it does a whole lot more than that. It's built for those engaged and vast multiplayer battles of the tournament level. Those engaged in five on five Valorant games or just me in gold rank trying my best. Legion Y25 offers a 24.5 inch FHD IPS panel with built in NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility. It means those frames are always fresh and they're always syncing. 
Legion Y25 monitor is available at Lenovo.com and other fine retailers. Lenovo.com, the Legion Y25 monitor. You play to win, you better buy it. Absolutely. Beautifully said, my friend. A wonderful monologue straight off the dome from our own Catinator 3K. Absolute 100% off the dome. No help, nothing else. He's just got the, got the freestyles on lock. But we're going to be jumping into Breeze, which is going to have, I think, and we were talking about this during the break, a little less freestyle potential here. There's some agents that are almost guaranteed to be making their way out the door. Chamber in particular comes to mind. Viper has been really popular on this map recently. Actually, since the map has come out, Viper has been very popular on it. And one of my favorite agents in the game to watch. So I really hope that we do get to see her. Yeah, I would not be surprised the Viper by any means, Septimus. I will tell you, though, 4.04 rolled around. Uh, what I will refer to as Control Mageddon, where everybody just couldn't figure out what controller they wanted to play anymore because they kind of were all bad. Um, and we got to this weird point where Viper lost half her fuel. She couldn't really do as much, technically. Astra got a million timers added to her and it made things a lot more difficult to play her. But, ironically... These two controllers still perform really well together when they're played together. Alone, they are bad, but they're like they're like a, like a little friendship duo where if you're going to ask Viper together, they're really, really strong. And what they're really strong at doing is stalling pushes. Now, when we see a team like Delaware, we saw them play Haven, a map that can function similar to Breeze in the sense that you get one bit of spacing early, you run it down off that bit of spacing. But if you play Astra Viper, you play that denial, they can't just run in because there's util to stop them. So the question is, does LA Tech make that adjustment or do they play on meta? My guess is that they play on meta anyway, and that's what they have done. Yeah, well, I think we're about to get a full-blown mirror matchup here to see Delaware not lock in the Viper. Yeah, would Welcome have been Welcome to the shocking. Breeze meta. Truly. Welcome to the Breeze touch, if you'd like to call it that. This is going to be Ooh. a really interesting scenario. I, I think what I want to keep the eye on most is how Delaware hasn't shifted particularly far they're keeping a lot of similar agents and a lot of similarities in their play style but brown bala was really successful on the sova now exotic has picked up the sova so that's a pretty drastic change to go from sova to viper we're gonna have to see how well brown bala can shift that play style i will say viper lineups are hard true and on this map they are even harder if you try to go over to the b site half of it's covered by a roof and you got to kind of hit these little holes in it so my guess here is that Exotic don't know no lineups on Viper. And Brown Ball said, I got you. Don't worry about it. I'm a lineup Larry. I play Sova all the time. I'll move over. I'll give you the Sova. Throw some basic darts. Just dart back a sight. That's all you really got to do. We go away. Dart back at the sight. Uh, if we're on defense, just throw a dart in the general direction of where they might be. And it'll probably scan something. So it's a lot easier to play Sova on Breeze than it is to play Viper. So no I like doubt. to call Brown Ball and move over, especially if he is that lineup warrior for the team. I am interested that they're playing their solo controller and their wrong. sentinel both on B. It's typically you leave the chamber, let them do it alone, because now they've got no util A. Yeah, they've got they've nothing got to really no protect util. them A. They're, they're relying entirely on mechanical skill here, and it looks like Delaware is going to be struggling early. Relay already down to, you know, 60 HP, but it's just it's a little fight for Walter. able to get right it's back to the swing of things. a little fake is what it is. A little, little fakey fake to swing in and right back out of things. LA Tech, they've got some ground here on bricks, but can't plant the spike on bricks. You're going to have to get a whole lot further in there. That's true, and uh, the only thing about that fake is Boys Delaware are aren't one to be fooled. They ain't moved one oh. muscle. Really what? killed the fake player. Next jump ah! in, gets right clicked by Brown Bala. Wants another right click. Won't catch Spine that one, but Javster will catch one from the back of the side. He's looking for a second to go with it. We'll keep you all the way out to CT. He's the safety. He'll get them in the front of the site, but Spike currently going to sit down. His teammate Boys now coming around to be main. Jurassic will have the 2v4 going on. Should have room to plan. A little bit extra money. Hard to win, though. This retake's coming in hot. I'm a little scaredy cat. I got jump scared like three times in a row there, but I'm glad to see it. It worked out well either way. Delaware, they've Delaware got the numbers advantage like nobody's business. And Jurassic, the fifth and final player to go down. I've never seen more time on the clock to hit a defuse right out the gate like that. Delaware winning the pistol round. Some great success here, Cat, because on Haven, they lost the first two rounds. That's true. A hotter start for them in... Makes sense, right? They got all the momentum going through with them in those last couple rounds of Haven. They send that momentum straight in to the first round of Breeze. And I love the confidence. One for them to play just the Sova Jet on the A site. But then to see the Viper Wall come in. To see the Jet of Next trying to push the issue. Them trying to force their way into the site anyway. All flashing through the Toxic screen even. <laughs> and Brown Bala and Javster on B say, 
You guys got it, right? Like you guys, you guys will be okay, won't you? They don't, they don't even move over. They're still ready for B. I mean, they're still tucked all the way to ladder, the farthest side of sight, the farthest rotate point you could possibly be. And they went up the round because of it. The confidence in their teammates is phenomenal. It gets the job done. And we got to look quick to mid door here as Eco. Anyway, LA Tech, they just want to plant, really. Yeah, I think they're going to be rushing onto site here to plant. I'd be surprised if this was a fake. Yeah, I think this on. is going to be a much more legitimate kind of rotation in onto site. And already Relay finds one. Relay puts it on a second. It is the 5v3. Like nobody's business. Jeetan finds the elimination one onto Exotic. Remaining. And the pressure is all of a sudden heavily. No, there's no more pressure. It is all been relieved in the form of LA Tech being shipped off to their graves. Delaware winning the second round. One they are expected to win, but holy how did they win that one-handedly yeah great dart to come through from exotic back of the site he did not find anything on the spray through it but you know who did relay from default easy that little works. shoulder peek for him he said bop bop one two down the drain and exotic you know it's like when you that open the jar spot. and then someone else comes through and they like actually open it like you can't open it but you said you loosened, you loosened it, it up for him, him. Right. I mean, yeah that, that was exotic there he spams through you see the two assists come through because he gets not just the recon damage but he gets a, a little bit of sheriff damage not to kill but relay he comes around and gets the job done for him yeah, and Relay doing what my friends call the Septilin Special, buying an operator on round three. The first time you are able to buy an operator, they hate when I do it, but I promise it's always very cool when I ace every single time. I've actually never Vouch. not aced 100% facts. And I mean, that, that operator can work out really well, but I'm worried because the Spiper Wall does such a great job of disrupting rotations that all of a sudden the op has some blind fire potential, but really is going to struggle to find those approaches early. Safani, though, not struggling very hard at all. Brown Bola takes on another Lazy, takes out that Viper who is just holding W and left click, play, praying for the best. It's a 3v3, full Spectre degree, and the spe Spectre diff, truly. Got to step tunnel on time two. Good for oh. one. Caught by the op of Relay, the Septon special. Strong for the... 2v2 now. Retake has time. Spike they don't really planted. have to do till the forward push, but they've got health, and that's something that LA Tech doesn't really have. Oh. Yeah, oh. We'll catch the shoulder of Lazy, and it's a little bit too far out, so he's able to pick that one up. He's Gene in the 1v2, tucking close ladder for a shoulder peak. We'll catch nothing as Jabster will find it through the wall in Delaware. They've taken the bonus as well. They'll take two rifles for their trouble. They'll take the defuse. It's a 3 0 score line, and what well, we talked about, they couldn't grab the first two rounds. How about the first three? The first three is really detrimental so much further than the first two. It's when you lose a situation where you're supposed to win that round, statistically speaking. So this should be a 2-1 scoreline. Now that LA has lost round three, they're in an even tougher situation because their economy back to zero, basically. They have to bring maybe sheriffs, maybe a couple of util, maybe lazy brings out the headhunter. But overall, the weapons advantage continues to grow for Delaware. They're bringing out full automatics and an operator versus three sheriffs and a couple of classics. This round is nearly impossible for LA Tech to be able to win, but it's going to be all about how well they can find elims, and they're looking to get one gun on, on board. They need to find an elim early to try to win it out afterward. No. It's like an improv game, Seth Wins. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to say, say a different word. Don't say nearly impossible to win, because you know what happened. Last time you said that, you know what You're happened. right. You're right. Oh, no. I'm going to knock on wood. Okay. That's, that's the same effect. That fixes we'll it. That. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but, you know... A little bit limited on the utility. LA Tech taking their sweet, sweet time here in this one. They haven't snowballed it in. They did snowball the last eco. You saw it down mid-door, and well, it did not work. So, different approach this time for them. Recon to get some early damage on the relay. Still alive, still kicking. Snake bite will send him away. The toxic screen number four. They've taken all of hallway early. Can't take more than that because there's going to be that trademark in the way. They've taken all of elbow as well. So, they do have space to work with here. I think I see these players down mid-door here for Delaware. If they try to play for that extra mid-control, they will have that angle for the KO to sneak behind. Now, they're going to come back. They kind of have to cut noise and come back into it, but they get caught all the same. Recon will give in for, for relay and we'll take lazy through the screen. That's the first to be picked up and... LA Tech, they've waited for quite a bit of time. They try to cut noise. They already came back to the noise, though. They're cutting noise again. It's not going to work. They're not going to read the rotate, especially because they've got that Viper still all the way to the B site, who's not going to be fooled. They will find left. another. And this round's pretty much chalked up, done and dusted. Take it for you will. They're in recess right now, constantly writing. We will not win this round. We will not win this round. We will not win this round. There's not really much to do. Oh, ah, there's the flank that was the caught out. Yeah, there's the flank. That was kind of the one opening the team had to really get in, find a couple of elims on their way out. But. That's really going to hurt them. Next, caught out in hell right here in this. Oh, man. Exotic takes it out. Hopster finds that fifth and final Elam in Delaware going up 4-0. LA Tech, they are not looking great here on their own map pick here, Cat. This was supposed to be LA Tech's time to shine in Delaware, currently 4 owing them as we start this map off. Yeah, very strong start for the defense here. LA Tech wasn't there you go, but then again, man, you go to the gym, Septlins. That doesn't get you fit, right? You got you to gotta work out all the right. same. You know, not, get, buying the membership and getting in the door is, is it going to do it for you? You got to actually 
contribute a little bit. So we saw them kind of, they walked in the gym. They said, man, this place is pretty cool. Everybody vibing. I like the snack bar options. And they don't really do, they don't really do much more, right? They never got on the treadmill. They never walked towards the site. They just kind of, they kind of chew on the space that they've been created, which is great. It's nice to have space, but if you don't do anything with the space, I mean, you might as well have not taken it in the first place. For a moment there, we saw both operators on a site, and I was a little concerned, but it looks like Chamber had time to get all the way up and through toward that mid location. So they've really covered yeah, two hyper aggressive too. angles. Yeah, a quick rotate coming coming through actually from the side of LA Tech. They're going to try to rotate back down and around, possibly toward that B site, which should be a lot more successful. The numbers in their favor over there, if they choose to take them, Spike chilling and spawn. I think they're waiting for that full double rotate. Look to come how through. deep that Viper is. Look how deep that Viper is. She is already. in there like swimwear, cat. Brown Bala is waiting to find that Elim. Even a cheeky one on a window could be massive. And Safi's already took the early contact, so he's the player that they think is close for the lurk. No one should check this. No one should check oh, the Viper no. here because Safi already took that. He's going to take mid space too. Delaware has the whole world with information. They got an encyclopedia at their fingertips right now, and they are just absolutely nailing in the answers to the test it's so it's so free for them right now they have all the info in the world they've snuck relay down cave now as well trademark's gonna be here he's not gonna trigger because he doesn't want this team to come back he wants to keep him contained for the moment being so he got this space they won't know that he's in this space and now la tech are thinking we've cut noise over towards the a site they could think we're still posturing around there but no delaware knows exactly what's up they have people extended left. so far literally everywhere no one should check this viper because of safi's early contact you can all this chilling the trigger just is and beautiful LA tech no one never checks man. corners Remain. they've been so bad at that so far and brown ball i mean cat you hit the nail on the stinking head dude they don't check the corner they don't fall for it they said oh somebody was up there they must be the only one and they got played they got read like a children's book they got read like a picture book there delaware what a clean play and that trigger discipline to boot Woo! I mean, just impressive on impressive. And that one really comes down to the fact that Delaware took all that space early because once Safety sees players there, the LA Tech IGL says, okay, they think we're going B because he's seen too early. He's backed away. Now we seem like we're in this space, but they don't know about Umbrella because no one's ever going to ever gonna check through there in any scenario. You and they send really play, all the way down cave, so there's just there's nothing to be had. All the extremities checked for Delaware. LA Tech not lurking, not anchoring anybody in terms of actually holding any presence. So... It's short-sighted. Take the contact them. I do like to see this. Forget the default. The default's not working. Let's walk straight into sight. Let's get the plant. We'll draw the viper pit as well. This is a round that they need to win. They need to win. Jeetan trying to put something on the board. Taking out relay early. Hopster doesn't see him far behind. A double kill from Jeetan is the exact opener. Like you said, Cat, it is crucial. It, it is so unbelievably important that they win this. Brown Bala taken out in mid, and Brown Bala has really been the kingpin on all successes we have seen from Delaware so far. Losing that player out like that really begins to hurt Exotic. Walking into the crosshairs once again, and not only is it going to be a round win here, Cat, but it's looking like, no, it will be a flawless in favor of LA Tech. They have finally found their momentum. Everybody's quite Question, can they keep it? Yeah, that is the question, and I'm glad they switched things up. Very glad. They've been playing that slow tempo. They've been trying to play for fakes the mind game a bit, and it just has yielded zero results. Delaware has been able to get the download. They've been able to find absolutely everything, and they're doing such a good job of taking the spacing to make it happen. All the tech says, okay, we'll change things up, man. We're sorry. We'll look for the burst execute instead. They find it. It's no, they know they got the Viper spit in the hand. They say, if we can just get the Viper to sight, if we can get the pit activated, we should be good. We should be Gucci. They are. They used to ult into that round in order to win it, but they've won it nonetheless. Viper spit will go early for Delaware over towards A main, just in case these LA Tech guys want to make the same play once again. They've moved Relay's Operator away from the A site over to B now. The first time he's been on this site the entire game. So that will change things up as well. We'll see if the LA Tech's ready for it. They're doing a good job of taking the space that they do have. No, Viper spit's going to be there. They know B main's been a hard one for them to win. They'll take the mid space instead. So you see them play up mid a little bit further here. We have yet to see them actually play themselves into window or anything of the like. The aggression of that Viper's Pit is crazy. I really like that. You put it up so they can't even get in to begin to push into a choke. It's completely shutting out that approach at all and making it much more predictable on where the team may approach. Exotic staring into the corner for some reason. It's taken down for to 5d4 in favor of LA Tech moving forward. They win this round. Cat, this game is unbelievably about momentum. And if LA Tech can take two back to back, they could possibly take a 7-5 half. Right now, this is truly the possible beginnings of the ends. Relay now having to rotate into a very rough spot. Their own Viper's Pit really going to be a nuisance to deal with. Jet v. Jet, close quarters op fight. And both of them going to be a little bit too scared to make that approach. The body gets a little bit of intel. Brown Bala down. Step out and die, my friend. 5v2. A back-to-back -back flawless would go absolutely insane for this team. Oops. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it again. Time. Softening and Relay will pick up two. A lot more work to be done, though. That suppression going to kill a little bit of extra time. 
Go for the jet, who now will drop down towards CT. This one close orange has heard both these footsteps. Know exactly where it's going to be. He's lazy. Toxic screen nice. ruining the chance of, to move okay. out of here, and they'll recognize. They'll back away. Not going to happen for him. And LA Tech yet again. They burst executed through mid door. They win that round out. They just move the burst execute a little bit, but they do recognize they have the space they mid. They use it effectively. And if you do have that pit going through the cave, you know the fact that that pit stays active means the Viper's got to be in that direction. So they kind of space right. her out. They make her try to play for the attack instead because they take advantage of all that defensive side. And it looks very clean for them. The adaptations are finally coming through. It took them five rounds, but hey, I I'm a big proponent of better late than never for yes. sure. For sure. So we do like to see that. And all honestly, all of that round came down to where that trademark was placed for Yavster. And it's placed where it is because of the spawn wall. You see the spawn wall comes through and it doesn't let you actually play it down the ramp. So he can't play it to mid door. He plays it off the spawn wall instead. And that's because he wants to be able to use that quick teleport for overlooking and heaven down mid. Uh, and the fact that he puts it down there so early to have that timing means that his teammate exotic You say he's sitting in the corner there because he thinks the trademark will be there if they push mid door But it activates after they're already into the angle So he yep. just gets caught out he gets screwed and that allows them all of mid door control allows them the spacing one Minuscule trademark placement is the difference when getting better. Oh No way relay doesn't hit that shot a little bit of movement goes a long way in a game like Valorant and relay Just learned that the hard way to pull it way off shot It's a 5v4 again in favor of LA Tech exotic trying to tie things up the KO has gone down It's gonna be the Sova down as well the jet was already down 3d3 the next elip could be the most important One it's exotic who finds it off gets taken down exotic going on a rampage right now looking to give us a pseudo ace if that ko res comes through and it certainly cannot with only 30 hp left on the board oh my goodness i thought it could i guess they give them enough time i thought that was going to be a shoo-in to not fall quite yet but you, you turn this into a save you're at 7 hp you almost got wall banged from 500 yards i mean there is unfortunate after unfortunate circumstance safari speaking of wall bangs cleans up the kill and lb delaware taking that momentum right back so close for LA Tech to come through this. It's close, what can but... You do, man? What yeah, can you it's do? close, but close only counting in horseshoes and hand grenades. You know what I mean? It is definitely difficult true. to come through. I think I think there's a very important play in, in the form of Exotic picking up the kill onto Off, who's in the back site. It was that KO who was getting in, finding two E limbs, and then as soon as he went down, it was all of a sudden no longer LA Tech could do anything. They were forced right back into cave, and they had nowhere to run. They just got folded. Yeah, they killed all that utility... Very early with that null command, Auth gets caught out, isn't able to get another pulse off, so the Uto finally comes back and Delaware uses it to jump in, but Exotic just hits a 3k, hits the little 3 piece from headshot angle, and it shuts down that push to come through, they say, we'll play you CSGO style, null command means no utility, let's just get the job done, and Exotic, well he does it, he does it with just a shot, it's really able to find one, he flicks to the one early, so he's able to find Gene, but lazy will have the headshot back, 3 towards chop shot, he can only hit one shot with the operator, that's kind of how the gun works. I love the flash from off, and it actually keeps them alive, Cat. A dangerous play, but a risky one. Do succeed. Now caught in the corner. Hobster knew exactly where that KO was going to be. Nowhere to run with that snake bite down and out. I used to jump scare. I like that. I think a lot of good things were found. Even the one Elim, I think, is worth those two uh, utils, especially when you've got a numbers advantage like this. Lazy misses a couple of crucial shots, and that's going to cost them the round. Delaware, now with a guaranteed advantage going into the second half. Worst case scenario, they are still up by two that they will be in uh the way they're playing right now it, it might just end up being more than two oh it's LA gotta Tech be look gonna, at econ yeah la Tech should be able to get a buy out here especially because lazy gonna have the tour de force next should be able to get bought from lazy well that's how they're gonna shuffle guns around maybe Waiting on it Waiting are they blade to storming back. too okay. perhaps okay no no no. he buys he he got bought a vandal and said i don't really want the vandal also i can buy myself i don't need you I'm strong, independent. Buys a phantom to come back for it, so you he'll buy. Play. I don't. Let's I do play. like this. I like them having two guaranteed rifles because eco ultimates are great and all, but they're limited, right? You get the five shots off the tour de force, you get the five blades, and after that, you're done. So I do like the fact that they have a second rifle confidently, and that will make a difference for them. We'll see what the case ends up being. They get closely to B main. They break the suppression early, but not before the utility comes through from the viper. So brown ball still gets it out, still stalls for the time. Oh, they tech and reset it. A reset early, like you said, from LA Tech. And this is the first round in a while here, Cat, where somebody hasn't been taken out in the first 20 seconds. Very often have we been seeing 5v4s in favor of either side, but this time everybody's playing slow, everybody's holding their own corners instead of extending past to look for those elims, and hasn't bit anybody in the butt quite yet, actually. Like I said, this is the longest we've seen all 10 alive in quite a while. The first elim, though, could be unbelievably pivotal for either side. Next, going to be going through, pushing up and through mid. All 10 players right now rotating toward B site, and five of them, none the wiser, the other five are on their way. An approach impossibly from mid through LA Tech's off, but no, it's dead. Possibly going to go down. 
Oh, no, wow! I'm amazed they won that. A complete element of surprise for Brown Bola. Still not going to be enough. Safadi with the trade. Exotic Zerv taking out one. Lazy finds a tour to force Elin. You're going to need about three more to really seal the deal here, friend. Jurassic takes down one. There's two. Where's the third? And we said three more to make it work. And Hopster finding Lazy full HP. This is going to be a tough one to win, but it is absolutely winnable. Winnable indeed. Yes, we're going to set up that rendezvous totem as well. Snake bite. It's just... Great snake bite. Reed comes through there. Get a bit of damage off of him. Why don't the ladder? Went back castle. Oh, Dark didn't get sucked. Oh. oh. He already shot through. They, they know. They know. Playing enough. a stealth game right now. They know he's somewhere. They don't know where. And I think that is a huge play for Hopster to play it slow, calm, cool, and collected. If he gets the kill onto the Sova here, that could be oh, the thing to turn it into a 1v1. But does not check the corner. And that is going to cost him. LA Tech finding their third round win. We're looking at a 7 3 scoreline. LA Tech, I've got to say, quite a few marbles in their hand. This is almost a better strat for LA Tech. Just stop running strats. For real. Just start <laughs> gaming. Like these, Just be gamers. The rounds that they've won have been very limited in terms of, like, here's the set execute. Okay. Here's where we're going to default. Here's the space we're going to take. Here's where we want to hit the end of the round. That round is literally just, okay, you guys go mid. We're going to go main. Just try to kill them, and then we'll take sight. Literally, it's so incredibly way. scrappy. Like LA Tech, they do the best. I mean, they're Bulldogs for a reason, I guess. Very true. Oh, lazy with the Elim, but it's traded out straight away, so not going to be nearly as important. There was no Viper's Pit, so it's not a complete loss on the side of Delaware. wide open. Double ultimate here from LA Tech, and yeah, they're going to be rushing right into that B site. They've got every ultimate under the sun at the ready. Next, currently, I think 0 and 9. So really hungry for that first elimination on the board. There's a Viper's Pit. LA Tech using every ultimate they have here, Cat. I mean, it's not even last round. I, this is a real overcommitment. If they lose this round, this is really going to bite them. That, that'll be, we'll be looking at a 9 3. Could be the case. Depends on the eco. If the eco's low for Delaware. Kind of makes sense to run it through. But I think they get a rebuy regardless, so it definitely will not. Definitely a little, uh, little overcommitted. I can't. Oh! oh so far just off. They go just pick up two. A three piece for him. Now they start trying to find that Viper out the pit. They step through. That's wow. the pick gone. Now Kern revealed off more ace. than known about. Finds two. Looking for the ace. third coming through and not quite. Javster will grab the ace. ace to go with the DP to come through for exotic. Did you enjoy the show? Score line. <laughs> the ults. Of course you did. They do not find the Last round. Last round in the half. It could, it could be a 9 three. Maybe, maybe that's what LA Tech's playing for. Maybe that's been the long con this entire time. They're like, oh, we hit him with a 9-3 curse. There's no way they come back from that. They're playing the largest big brain game we've ever seen before. I, I think, I think we were really looking at one too many ultimates in that last fight. I get they were kind of like, okay, we're getting to the end. Let's use them before the half swap. But using three in one round when you can only have a maximum of five and they take a long time. You're lucky often to get two or three in a half. So to commit every ult they had in a single round to then go on to lose that very same round is not a great showing from LA Tech. I'd like a lot more old consideration before just bringing them out. Can be out, can be brought up freely into this round since it is the last three they will bring yeah. his blades from out early. In case he gets pushed, we'll have that opera push going the back side of things. Good tag from the Hunter's Fury early for LA Tech, but means they will not have it in terms of playing for post plant. So they got to instead play most of the players onto site. They'll have one on hallway for extra control trades to come through right now. Oh! Got a clean shot for the staircase player. Jouther has one back with the tour to force. We'll take early space and caught by Jurassic, though, who was that hallway player. That extra control can be one so beneficial remaining. for you in your post plant, and it will be. Next, finally, we're this frag onto what was that null commanded KO, and that leaves Brown Ball in a 1v3. <laughs> Brown Ball is probably dead here because they are not going to be checking. Okay, I actually thought it was going to be up in halls that was going to find the Elim because somebody was up there, but instead it's Lazy with the Bulldog. Hey, Bulldog's Second using size. Bulldogs. How, how fun is that? But instead of the 9-3 curse, the big brain play all over. Now it's an 8-4. It's going to be a complete new ball game. And Delaware are going to be in a really comfortable position if they win the first two rounds. They'll be hitting double digits already, but LA Tech, this is a really strong chance to come back. If they can make this an 8-6, that's going to be potential on potential to really come back and maybe even take it to an 8-8. Take it all the way. Bring us all the way to bind who knows cat only time will tell and as we jump into this cat are you more better gun or util in the pistol round which do you usually find yourself buying listen i'm not very good Seth Blitz, so <laughs> I find you myself, said gold man that's good I, enough <laughs> i find myself consistently buying util um i do like a ghost every now and then though you know the ghost just it just makes me feel 
more confident going in. It's just you got a little extra long range to you, a little bit more accuracy. The classic be inconsistent as heck, not gonna lie. True. Slow field will go down early. We'll see if that classic Ooh. can find something. It has a right click to come through Jurassic, now taken out by the upgraded pistol for relay the frenzy to get them into sight. Delaware will have it. Now looking to hold on. Good toxic screen to try to help this post plant. It's down now though. A little bit of delay, about 10 seconds before we see it again. Yeah, the toxic screen has an insane delay on it. When you bring it down, it takes, like you said, about 10 seconds. I think it's like 8 to 10 seconds before it gets right back up. Round ball are completely given away. Trapped in the corner. Has to overextend or at least try to find an Elim. Headhunter bullets not doing much, but off goes down. Jeetan not far behind. And it looks like things are looking great for Delaware to keep the dream alive. Relay looking to find the one tap, and they do. That will seal the deal. Delaware hitting their ninth round win on the board. They are only four rounds away from wrapping up the night before it feels like it truly ever began for LA Tech. The Spectres should come out in full here. Yeah, I'm sure thinking about it. There we go. It's a Spectre prowess, and those things, they're scary. I love the Spectre. In regards to close that range, works. so LA Tech, this one should be, uh, this one should be chalked up, you could say. Chalked up, That's written on the spot. walls. Uh, set in stone, if you will, around. That definitely looks like it's going to be working well in favor of Delaware. This could be an opportunity for LA Tech to find some elims here and there. A classic right click takes anybody down if you're close enough. So maybe LA Tech plays. They try to force out Delaware's impatience and they see if Delaware will overextend to capitalize off the back. One Spectre in the hands of LA Tech could really turn this around. But as Relay tanks, what is that? Three blind fire and shots and lives. I mean, definitely luck on their side. Next, I think still looking for that first elim. So things definitely on the rougher side for them. Delaware, they are in, and Delaware down. Exotic going to be falling to next. That's going to be a huge opportunity. Next, though, this is a bullet not soon after. Hopster finds that Elim, and Jurassic playing that lineup. Larry playstyle sending it in right between the cones, and as they go up onto Halls, Brown Baller finds one. Safadi takes out another. Lazy finds the Elim, gets a Spectre, and hardly gets to look at the skin before they are taken down by Hobster. Delaware securing their first double-digit round. Only three away. Only three away, and they'll still have guns going into what will be their bonus exotic gotta think about what he wants to buy for here buy down definitely the better call make sure they have a full gun round going into the next and they'll do just that looking pretty cozy right okay. now here for delaware in terms of his bonus they're gonna have to take it over to that b site where they did very dominantly win that pistol he saw for the take here from the viper very early that works so it's like also playing for that viper chamber combination in this regard delaware will look to head right back to this i think break that trademark Early, I wouldn't be shocked to see them put maybe a shock bolt there, maybe some util because they know where it's been. They've seen it before. Chamber in the meantime, gonna take a lot of space down into mid. He's got no round if you put him set up though, so he's not able to get himself out of this position. See that brains? They bought the trademark early. They actually just smoked it and walked through. I like that from the relay. That's a, the thing about that jet fiber. It's great for situations just like no! that. For one, really, we'll have another. They take all that space, broken wall. They've got it. They've got two guns to work with now as well. Relay really said, I'm good for one, and just ran it. I mean, just ran it down, found that Elim deep. Like you said, smoked and held W, good and it pop. worked so Beautiful unbelievably pop well. Amazing pop one to come through. Off goes down. Relay finding a triple now to boot Delaware, all but a shoe in to walk away with this round, and they certainly will. A free operator if they want it, Cat. Yeah, and they do. Next shoulder peeks down the tunnel there, last player alive in the 1v4. When you've got the op in your hand and you're in the situation, you run. Honestly, don't even pull That's the trigger, spot. dog. Because he True. pulls the trigger and he tailwinds himself into the wall. means he doesn't have a dash to get away from that player who was shooting in mid. And I mean, can we blame Vibe? Can we blame a guy for getting a kill? No. But it's just the fact that he's got no ability to save there. And I mean, he's just... They've got nothing now. They've right. really got nothing now. Literally nothing. Well, I mean... Literally, they've got two shares and one shorty, but they they, they don't got like they, they don't got a lot in the tank. I want to jump back to my uh, you know it, we'll, we'll save that for after actually. It's it's quite funny. My brown ball analysis is still 100 spot on, but we'll we'll touch that. We'll come back to that later on. Right now, it's LA Tech trying to defend the A site with their lives. A great 0.9 going to catch out both the chamber and the KO, negating their abilities for I think six seconds, maybe a little bit longer, give or take, one way or another. And as the fake comes through Delaware, they're like, hey, we'll get a little bit of info, and it is eight seconds actually. Wow, is it really that long? That is news yeah. to me. <laughs> Definitely does not feel like it, but it is, it is still going to be an impactful play. Delaware, they're going to go for a, a pseudo fake up and possibly through mid, and they'll committing it now all the way over to the B site. Question is, will they get Brown Bala? Will this Viper extend far enough where nobody checks the corner? This all comes down to timing in hallway. One of them have to move eventually. They're both going to be playing Lurk. We will see. Because Brown Bala just I, I went to mid door. His expectation should be that they, they've left. 
Oh no, it all came down to timing and he's winning oh! timing as well. Dravik sets in the cloud burst, picks up one, not more than that though. And the shorty really should never be good for two, so there you go. Stephanie's traded one back and the site will go Delaware. Oh, that is an interesting off shot, but it's great. Mantle shots for everybody else. Brown Ball picked up one, Zoxxon have another trade now by next. Brown Ball will grab one back, all the round with the Guardian. Newfound gun for him, be able to pick up one. Got to find two more that'll win the round. Pop Flash has sent him into the angle. No one's caught it. Snake oh. Bite's caught him, so he's got to back away. He's got one more Flash to work with. And I'll have that zero point up here in just seven seconds. So a chance to kill the utility that uh, Delaware doesn't have. But uh, at least we'll have information <laughs> on, on the radius for the zero point to know where they're at. And then a pop Chat out here saying Shorty's never good for two. This man has clearly never seen my Valorant highlight clips folder. I mean, let me tell you what, man. Me, me and the Shorty get along real well. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Another pop flash does nothing but have off like a little bit too high. Exotic finds that Elim, and now all of a sudden, that very well could have been our penultimate round, not only of Breeze, but of the series. Delaware is five Elims away from securing a spot in semifinals. That they are. Cat just plogged IRL. I want everyone to know that since you guys can't see him. Cat yeah, dropped a plog IRL. Can you, can you blame me? I can't, man. I Next really is, can't. Uh, has dropped all the money on an op yet again. Last go around we saw with the op, he grabbed himself one for his troubles. He was not able to save it. But maybe this time around he can save the game for LA Tech. Maybe that'll be the case. He'll be looking early B main. This go around Delaware, they've switched things up. They'll go mid, looking for that split execute to come through. They've droned, they've walled pretty consistently every round, and then they've walked away. This go around. They have not walked away. They're going to walk forward. The Viper out mid will get caught. Oh! Relay has that with the Blade Storm. Yep, Relay picks up one early. Headshot kill takes out Jurassic, completely eliminating that wall offline. Takes the Snake Bites out in any hope of a Viper's pit here in this round. Off gets the trade. The Relay finds a trade of their own. It is going to be in favor of nobody as Great off gets in. Pops that Null Command. That could be a big one, but no, he's immediately knocked. Does absolutely nothing as Safadi goes in deep. Brown Baller with a blind fire wall bang headshot. Two more eliminations come through in Delaware has done it. They have walked away 26 to 13 in a final, excuse me, 26 to 11 in total. University of Delaware walking away with a phenomenal win. The upset comes through and let me tell you, Delaware, they are anything but upset. A phenomenal showing two weeks in a row and now they are one successful series away from a spot in ECAC Grand Finals. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we were looking at the, the website before the game. We were looking at the, the matchup going forward, the seeding.